In this video, we are going to review every one of our Q3 2023 earnings trades. This is a comprehensive review of each trade, $1,000 evenly invested across each trade resulted in a 60% return. All these selections were based on our reliable and proven methodology. Rinse and repeat every single earnings quarter. Here were the trade ideas that were shared. Every single earnings season, we used to have one class, but now we have two classes. The first class was July 10th. July 10th, we shared five names. The second class was July 27th. During that class, we shared three names. All of these are buying options. We buy options, so we have a fixed amount of risk. Karg, $135. You can never lose more than you invest in any of these trades. Now we look at the performance. The performance is if you would have come to class, put the trade on, and then you went on vacation and did whatever it is you wanted to do, and you came back on August 18th, the day of the expiration, and you just took the position off. Here's how you would have done. Card, your risk per trade is $135. You end up making 395 for a net of 292%. ACVA, risk $170 up $110, up 65%. ENVX, risk 275, net gain 271. You double your money, up 99%. ARHS, $85 of risk per trade, loser. Band, $50 of risk, you lose your principal. App, $240 of risk, up 181%, those are worth 435. Chug, Chug didn't chug so well, $25 of risk. We lost money on this, but I gotta tell you, I did Chug because we did a Chug trade in January and it was an absolute monster. I have an entire video. I encourage you to watch again how we found Chug in January it was exactly how we found these eight trades in Q3 2023 insights from our trades from our q3 2023 earnings trades an even allocation of one thousand dollars across the eight trades yielded a profit of six hundred six dollars and fifty cents or sixty percent return this consistent approach replicated every quarter underscores the effectiveness of this trading strategy I was a market maker on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange. I learned this approach in 2011 and I've been doing it ever since.